Uh, seven patents in five rounds, all awarded in a short time frame of six years. That is averaging more than one patent a year. But fiber optics technology permeates every aspect of the American society, uh, from telephone systems all the way to the internet, uh, computers, and uh, using even ATMs. Uh, fiber optics touches the lives of the other person in a way that is not as uh, usually imagined. Uh, our president won just because he could raise $740 million if you uh, need money to run elections in America. He could raise this money not only by using the ability to text and reach millions of people, but the ability to carry that information to so many millions of people has to rely on the fact of the backbone that has been set up throughout the United States. And we were very, very glad to be the early pioneers in this field. And so I'm just glad to see that uh, President Obama is able to win based on the technology we've been involved in. We've been pushing this idea of uh, having a high-speed rail and transit to play a larger role in the 21st century system, transportation system for America. This is because we need to move about millions of people from the highways into this efficient modern transportation system with very low carbon footprint. We develop fiber optics that are very, very uh, sensitive to radiation. In other words, uh, you can have fiber optics deployed in space and be able to use it without the impact of the so-called Van Allen belt. We wanted to use fiber optics to guide missiles. And my first invention at Bell Laboratories, uh, the fiber optic guidedness allow uh, missile targeting using fiber optics. When you see on television the crosshairs on TV with the missiles hitting targets, we were one of the few people that uh, initiated that project. You can actually put a missile or bomb through a window in a building without damaging any other structures. This is because fiber optics was used in the guidance of such missiles. Right now, one of the things I'm proposing at the moment uh, is using fiber optics to detect nuclear radiation. That is building sensors out of fiber optics because we know that you have, you have formation of color centers in conventional fiber optics. And therefore, if we can eliminate these color centers and use that as an application where you expose fiber optics blast to nuclear radiation, and therefore you cause the color centers an increase or decrease the the transmission properties of the fiber. We can use that to detect nuclear radiation at airports or any place. And that's very, very important for Homeland Security. I don't think none of us could have imagined uh, the impact of fiber optics in modern society. Uh, society could actually not function the way we function now. Productivity in America, from engineers all the way to teachers, in the classrooms, to cable people who work in the cable industry, everybody has been impacted by this technology. You can you can actually have the entire library at your at, at your computer uh, at, the, at your computer on your desk. This means you can sit down at your computer and with a few keystrokes be able to access an entire library uh, just like that. And this is because uh, of companies like Google. That, that you can Google any information in the world. You know, this invention of fiber optics has given rise, if you will, to well, some of the modern companies as you see them, Google, YouTube. Uh, without the fiber optics uh, media, this wouldn't have been possible. Now you have uh, more than 100 million people uploading YouTube videos, 15 minute length with videos, that people can watch all of it over the world. And this is because of the large bandwidth information carrying capacity of fiber optics. When you are making a cell phone call long distance, let's say from here to Chicago, that call actually goes to the cell phone tower and from the tower it goes through the fiber optic backbone system all the way to Chicago. And this is uh, similar if you are trying to make a cell phone call to United Kingdom, Japan or even South Africa because we have fiber optics uh, on the sea cable that allow us to be able to transmit data information and video all the way to China, uh, England, and everywhere. 
So fat raptics is being used by the average person, no matter what they do. If you want to, if physicians want to transmit uh, uh, images, if you will, x-ray pictures across the ocean, they can do that easily by fat raptics. If you have 100 million people always trying to check their balances on ET machines at once, and this is because of fat raptics. In case we are using copper cables, you'll be standing in line for eight hours. But right now, what I'm doing, I'm always moving to the next level. I'm working in an area called nanotechnology. I'm one of the few blacks who are real leaders in this field. Nanotechnology is the wave of the future. Just like uh, we use fiber optics to move the United States to the next level economy, we're going to use nanotechnology to move America to the next level. Nanotechnology is so important. For example, we are envisaging, if you will, uh, nanotechnology based batteries for your cell phone. This means that your cell phone can be charged once and it can last for a week. We are looking, if you will, a time when uh, the nanotechnology batteries can be used for your laptop computers. In other words, you can have a battery for your laptop that's as thin as this paper you see here. 